Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Commission Guys YouTube channel and today we're going to look at and build and price the all new 2023 Chevy Colorado. So let's get into it and take a look at what this truck has to offer. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so thank you for coming along and watching this video. Hopefully you pardon my voice as I probably have some congestion going on. But other than that, uh, let's get into this video and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a whole lot. So if we take a look right here, so we see that the WT and LTs, uh, you can get those in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. And then of course the trail bars, Z71 and the ZR2 all come with standard all-wheel drive. So if you want uh, the all wheel drive, a four wheel drive, uh, that's going to uh, switch you up here by about uh, $3,000. So take a look right here. Yeah, so it's about $3,000 you're going to uh, be switching on your WT or your LT model. So let's go ahead and get into the WT here. We'll look at the exterior. Uh, we got the Summit White, we got the Black Sterling Gray. This is the Harvest bronze metallic which suspiciously looks like a uh, olive drab in metallic looks pretty good sand dune metallic uh, not a big fan of that one not too bad though glacier blue metallic I think that's probably one of my favorites and then the radiant red uh, tint coat not too bad so we can go to the wheels uh, for this is the WT option we're going to get the ultra silver metallic steel wheel and I forgot I have this button up here that I can press I don't need to go down here uh, we got jet black cloth or jet black Evo tech seat trim not sure what that is but that's an extra twelve hundred dollar option there if you want to get into that uh, you can also get an eight-way power driver seat adjuster or a power driver seat lumbar uh, control so those are options that you can opt into not really showing the price on those but those are your options there uh, going into packages we can get the uh, skid plate package that comes with uh, let's see here performance mid skid plate all features include skid plate front skid plate and the mid skid plate so that's that uh, the WT convenience package a manual sliding rear window remote locking tailgate rear window defogger let's see that looks like about it other than cruise control also uh, enabled and all features included with the WT convenience package sliding rear window, cruise control, center console, nice and remote locking tailgate, okay that's kinda nice to have so that's probably a feature you probably want to have on the truck so that's kinda nice uh, safety package, we'll take a look at this, we got uh, the outside heated power adjustable mirrors honestly I've never understood that because outside heated power adjustable mirrors uh, I guess if you're in the north you probably understand that better than I do here in Florida I don't understand that uh, painted mirror caps uh, I can always do that myself if I needed to rear park assist let's see may require additional package can provide distance alerts to nearby detected objects behind you okay so that's not too bad that's a nice little feature to have sometimes uh, rear cross traffic braking so this can help you avoid or reduce the severity of backing collisions with detected left or right cross traffic behind your vehicle when you're in reverse it provides alerts and can even automatically provide hard emergency braking if you have not already begun hard braking may require additional optional equipment uh, not a big fan of that one myself just with the uh, cinches and stuff, if they go bad and the car decides to stop braking by itself, eh, that's not a good thing. And blind zoned, uh, blind zone steering assist can detect a potential crash with a moving vehicle in your lane. It provides a brief urgent turn of the steering wheel to let you. Yeah, I don't like that either. Yeah, so any of those options I don't like because once again, you should be by driving the car. The car should not be driving you. A very simple. Uh, thing to live by. Uh, eight way power driver seat adjustment. So here's that package power driver seat lumbar control and tailgate uh, keyed cylinder lock. So that's a $545 package there. Uh, that also opts you into 
the WT convenience package it looks like and the uh, pro essentials package which was that come with uh, bed liner uh, cargo bed LED lighting uh, custom molded splash guards and that's it so that opts you into those so that's an extra $895 package on top of your uh, convenience package number two which you're gonna add on to uh, advanced trading package that's automatic locking rear differential uh, integrated trailer brake controller in vehicle trading app uh, we can always disengage that I guess um, let's see trading package includes da -da 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 -da. so if you need a trailer you're probably gonna want to go ahead and get that too that's an extra uh, nine hundred and ninety five dollars and it looks like uh, adding the advanced trading package will also change the following add rear air vents Ooh, definitely want that integrated trailer brake controller invaded uh, so that's gonna get added <clears throat> so that took out the pro essentials but added yeah I'm not sure how all that's working but anyways it is then the technology uh, package so I guess you go from this to that so I'm not sure why that switched but it did and then what's this? So this is the features of the package: tailgate, key, center lock. So some of these have overlapping uh, sy uh, systems uh, options. Adaptive cruise control can automatically maintain a driver selected gap time from the detected vehicle you're following while you steer. That's weird. Uh, rear pedestrian alert. HD surround vision. All features include. So we can skip that as well all right so that's uh what does that put us at i'm not seeing a total oh, there we go thirty-four thousand dollars so far then we go into options here uh custom molded splash guards so a lot of these are so this you can get the front license bracket don't need that uh cargo tie down rings need those uh the black bow tie that'd be nice my black beam plates that would also be nice a tailgate decal package that's nice thank you uh, you can also get uh, cargo LED lighting for an additional fee it looks like so I guess we add that afterwards uh, class package spray on bed liner uh, soft roll up cover the hard folding cover the uh, black off-road assist steps Let's see if we can add that we can and so getting that's just a bunch of the extra stuff that you can add on there later on but uh, so that's just the basic packages you can put on there and that's gonna put you at about thirty six thousand dollars for eighty so not too bad for the WT so we'll go back here and take a look at the trims so LT that's going to continue with LT save nope we'll just go to the LT here so what I want to see, so we also have two engine options, though that's just for the all-wheel from the all-wheel drive to the other, that's what your difference is there, so, I think. Now you can switch, you can switch the engine options, so you got the 237 and the 310 uh, 2.7 liter turbo engine uh, options, I didn't notice that at first, but you do have that. Uh, same colors as before, wheels, you get another option, you get a 18 inch over a 17 Add manual tilt and telescoping. Okay. So that's going to add a few things there. We get some tire options that we could always add. And wheel locks, you get those on there as well. And so you got the cloth seats. So that's staying the same. Uh, you are getting a few more basic options on the interior. So that's certainly nice. But still cloth seats. So everything. Rear center armrest, that's now available. Outside heated power adjustable mirrors, driver seat back, map pocket, nice. So all that little stuff is added on. There's, there's just nice little things that you can add in. All right, so not a whole lot of difference there. So we'll move on to the next trim here, the trail boss. Let's take a look here. So we got summit white, black, stoning gray, harvest. We'll go ahead and take a look at these. See how it looks with the styling. And the white definitely looks pretty good with the blacked out grill and accents. And then all black, I mean, that just looks really mean. Looks really good. Uh, we got the sterling gray, that looks excellent. Uh, the harvest bronze, that looks pretty good. Sand dune, eh, not my favorite. We got the uh, nitro yellow, that looks pretty nice. 
uh, the blue looks excellent and uh, so these right here are also like 400 to 500 dollar options as well so keep an eyeball on that uh, we got ourselves what appears to be five different wheel options uh, we can we start off with 20s we can go to 20s and that's gonna add a few different packages as usual that definitely looks pretty good uh, we can also go with uh, 20 aluminum high gloss that changes up the pattern just a little bit and then we can also go with 22s so let's see if we can take a look at the exterior with the 22s on and there you go that doesn't look too bad honestly and imagine if you load it just a little bit uh, that would look like a nice little round the town uh, truck which is pretty good so let's take a look back with this real quick so there we go back to the 20s and that's what the 20s looks like do you like that looks pretty good and then back to the other 20s here back with the styling uh, we want the exterior please thank you looks pretty good like it uh, let's see tire options wheel locks that's all that we got there uh, we still have cloth seats we haven't even gotten to any leather yet that's kind of interesting uh, so nothing really different there the trail boss convenience package looks about all the same looks about all the same advanced trading technology package adaptive cruise control so not a whole lot we got the dock essentials package so that's going to get you uh, the dock the blacked out uh, logos package we got the flex utility package that comes with the cargo tie down rings uh, reconfigurable bid rails and the flexible off-road splash guards Ooh, that's kind of cool and also uh, oops Ooh, okay that's neat I like that package it's pretty cool so that's gonna put you at about forty three thousand dollars so far options uh, tailgate you can get the key cylinder uh, cargo LED bed lighting you gotta see dealer for pricing on that one right so th that's good uh, easy lift power gate uh, bed liner with integral storage compartments uh, you can also get the tailgate uh, decal package and etc also get your off-road uh, assist steps now do these sh assist steps show up that's what I want to know yeah there they are looks good I get, ooh, what's the bed let's take a look at the bed I want to look just at the bed that's all I want to see because you got this right here and I want to see what that is oh there we go so there you go that's pretty cool. I like it. Nice. Now here, I want I want to see what this looks like with a cover on it. Just because I'm kind of interested in seeing how that looks. So let's see. Let's just go with the soft cover here. Back to the exterior. And it's not going to show us because it's got that one option on there. So never mind about that. But if we go to summary... Uh, C dealer for pricing there. Okay, so nothing, nothing really showing up for us on that in price. Yeah, so, but it, it was looking at it's probably going to be about forty six thousand plus on that one. So, let's look at the Z seventy one here. Once again, pardon my voice, getting over a cold or some other nonsense. So, if it sounds, uh, you know what, that's why. So let's see, this is a little bit different, so you got, I do like the new front end, the rear end and all that, it does look really, really good here. They just, they squared it up and made it more, look more like, look like, more like a truck, which is nice. So this doesn't have near as much black trim to it, so this one is probably a little bit more on what you would call the stylish looking truck, not really the off-road, so this is more of the more of the round town truck just a bit or long road trip truck and we got some fancy wheel designs we got the Android duck full gloss and then we've got the 20s so going back to the exterior 20s don't look too bad definitely needs yeah with this right here you see how you had the highlights you just need like a little bit more black and chrome throughout here to really match up with that in my opinion Go back to this. 
I don't know. It's like I'm not. I don't think the wheels are really matching up that good for some reason. I don't know. Not liking it. Uh, let's see. Did we get to any leather? We finally get to leather. So we'll go ahead and add that. That's gonna be about a three thousand dollar package. I think I saw. Seatbelt cutter. Da -da -da. Nothing much in there. Uh, advanced trading package, technology package, everything else package, all the basic stuff there throughout. Uh, go ahead and add the skid plates to the flex utility. Let's see, add, 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 yep, okay. Go ahead and see if we can add the advanced trading package. And it looks like we can. Can we just, so that's. Everything is basically added there. So that's putting us at 47. Um, let's see here. Black nameplates. We can add that. Spray on bed liner. Go ahead and get our off road. There we go. That just popped on. So that should look pretty cool. A hard folding cover, the power sunroof, don't really need that because that can cause you some major leaks later down on the road. So let's take a look at the exterior, that's printed us at 49,000. And there it goes. Looks pretty good. I see, yeah. So with that it just adds a little bit more black with that package. And it just looks, it looks better for some reason. It just it doesn't look as good when you have just the blue fenders on there it looks a little bit better when you do just a little bit more blackout it just looks just that tad bit better for whatever reason I don't know why nice like it I like it they did a good job finally restyling it the interior honestly I haven't been able to sit in it yet but it feels basically the same as the old one so uh, that that's definitely a little bit more difficult not 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 a, not a whole lot of change there Alrighty, so same colors once again. We'll go with red for this one. Actually, no, let's switch it up. Let's go with yellow. Yellow truck. So we got the uh, red line inside the Chevy logo, which is kind of neat. And so, ooh, hello. So we get the graphite with oxide gold aluminum wheels. Those are 17s. And then we got the beadlock capable. This is for the Desert Boss. Those are the Desert Body Boss uh, package here. Okay, we can see from there they added a lot of stuff. You can see right here. Let's look at the exterior. Hello. And I don't like the uh, color options. Let's look and see what it does with Sand Dune. Hey, ooh. Okay, that actually goes together really well. It gives me a little military truck vibe. I like it. Let's take a look around this thing. Ooh. Yep. I like it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello, 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 hello. I like that very much. Ooh, I like it. That is cool looking. I like that very much. Let's see, let's see what it looks like in the other colors. Eh, nope, that doesn't work for me. Nope. You might be able to get away with it with the black. Let's see here. Eh, if it was a matte black, yes. That's the problem with the gloss colors. Sometimes the gloss colors just don't do it quite as well as they should. Or metallic. Eh, nope. We gotta go with Sand Dune on that one. That does look the best. Okay, W. So, uh, past the wheels, um, I think that's your best wheel option right there. That looks the best to me. Uh, let's see. So, we already got the perforated leather seats. We got those options. Yellow seat. White on earth. So, we have tan accents on the outside. Why are we putting yellow seat belts on the inside? That's just weird. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. That seems very strange. Uh, Flex utility package. Let's see, can we add this without removing anything? Uh, nope, that will remove that package. We don't want to do that. Uh, so we're already at $60,000 recovery package. So yeah, so the Desert Boss Special Edition. So let's take a look at what this adds. So this adds the, uh, 
the decal package. It adds the black name plates. It adds the 17 steel transit wheel. A uh, 40 inch off road roof light bar with the light bar on there. Uh, tailgate decal package. The bed mounted sport bar, which looks great. Uh, the off road front bumper with safari bars. So that's that right there. Looks good. Uh, Beadlock capable wheels with tech bronze decorative ring. Looks good. The underbody cameras. Ooh. That's pretty cool. So that's all your features right there. Power distribution box. Rear body side. Underbody camera. Neat. I like it. I like that very, very, very much. That is neat. And then we have some options we can go to, so that's added. We can get removable off-road assist steps. Uh, we can add the 30-inch off-road front grill bar. Yes, might as well have that as on there as well. Um, if we can add that. Okay, that's not going to remove everything. Good, that's nice to have. Uh, flexible off-road splash guards. Let's see if we can add those. Front license plate, sale, okay so let's take a look at it here, and there we go, we got the light bar on there, light bar on the top, we got the uh, steps right there, looks good, it's a good looking truck. Alright, they did a good job with the uh, redesign on this, they really did. Uh, interior, I, I'm still out on because I haven't actually been able to try it out. Because uh, I know what the one thing was is that it is very hard to get into with without these steps on there. And even so, uh, the steps are extremely uh, thin, so it's still very hard to get a good step on it. And also, they don't actually have, uh, with the previous model anyways, not necessarily this one, as I said, I haven't been inside this yet. Um, they don't have... I don't remember anything right here, like on this, um, or oh, whatever you call it, the pillar, or the front pillar here. There's no hand grip. There's nothing to grab onto when you're going in and out. So that makes it a little bit difficult to be able to hoist all the way up, depending on what the stance is of the truck. So that's one thing that I found very difficult, and I think Todd found it difficult too, is getting into the back seat. Because with how thin it is, you do need to be able to have something to hold on to in the back but uh, exterior wise they did a great job with this redesign so I like that very very much so good job on that to them alrighty guys so that is the Chevy Colorado the brand new version and let me tell you it looks really really good liked how they redesigned it finally so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we're gonna see you guys here next time with another hunting cars online and uh, we will see you guys here next time. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you guys, as I said, next time. Bye-bye.